Shortly after Lincoln was murdered by a man with ties to the banking cartels, even though you won't learn that in school, our nation was hijacked. The revolutionaries that had wrested our country from the Bank of England were destined to be defeated by 1913 when control of the coin was to return to those interests we'd gone to war to gain independence from. Hand in hand with the bankers were the corporations, transferring power and money from the general population to those privileged few. The latest step of that lamentable journey is the subprime crisis that caught the pundits by surprise. You know who did see it coming? The Federal Reserve. Hell, they engineered it. Remember Greenspan? Pushing all those low rent loans? Keeping interest rates in the gutter to make sure that no money went into savings? And the shrub doing the only thing he's ever been good at? Cheerleading the frenzy on. Right before the bubble burst, at his last State of the Union speech, he was crowing about the all-time high in home ownership, like he was personally responsible for it. Of course, as soon as it started crashing, he and his cohorts were quick to point the fingers at the most defenseless and vulnerable. And, like I predicted, the Fed has been bailing out the vultures right and left. And now, to add insult to injury, they're using the very mess they created in an attempt to gain even more power. Oh, give us the power to delve into every financial transaction so that we can prevent this from happening again. Yeah, right. This whole kit and caboodle actually happened 75 years ago under the administration of Herbert Hoover. Well, FDR pulled them up short. Didn't have the Congress to stop them completely, but his policies worked up until the savings and loan scandals of the 1980s. Again, under a Republican administration. What are the odds? Do you notice a pattern? Against all Republican demagoguery, the Glass-Steagall Act finally sealed the deal and brought all their shenanigans to a close. So how did this crap come to happen again? Well, a Republican Congress, aided and abetted by Clinton, and you'll never convince me he's a Democrat, not by any honest definition of the word. Had he been a Democrat, his first act in office would have been to fire Greenspan. My druthers would have been to leave the office vacant, take back control of the coin, and give us the only cure for inflation financial market bubbles and a devalued dollar and that is debt free money borrowing money at interest is what the Constitution was written to prevent barring that and having a Republican occupying the White House the Democratic Congress's next steps should be restore the Glass-Steagall Act, rein in the Fed by vetoing their latest $30 billion bailout with our money, and uh, 
Oh, yeah. Impeach and convict those criminals who stole into our White House and have been stealing ever since. <laughs> now, into the circle five. Left her alone with no father beside her love long. 